Greetings my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I have another band you need to hear recommendation. Another band that if you've never heard of them then you seriously need to check them out because they are absolutely well worth your time, well worth the energy and actually they may very well just be your next favourite thing. So today's recommendation is in the form of a I'm going to say it's a very, very underground black metal band. This is proper obscure stuff. Been active since around 2021, so only a couple of years. Currently to their name, or his name, uh, he has one studio album and one split kind of album, uh, a little bit longer than an EP. Um, only a, a very small amount of material, really. However, this stuff really does stand out. I am talking about the Geist of Oakita, or Oshita. Not quite sure on the pronunciation of that part, but this is just to give a bit of context. This is the uh, the insert or the cassette form of the debut album, Soul Studio album that we have from the Geist of Oshita, or I'm going to just say Okita because I don't know why. That just seems to sound a little bit more right to me. This is Imprisoned in the Graven Wood. Great cover. Crazy kind of were-bear thing going on here. Eviscerating some poor zombie-like creature. Anywho, this is seriously dark, deep black metal. This is very raw stuff. It's very melancholic, but it's also heavily kind of melodic as well. It's brilliant. This is the sort of stuff where you can completely lose yourself in the atmospherics of the music. So, to give a little bit of context, this is a one-man project from Oklahoma, USA, I believe. And this is one of the bands that's really standing out to me from the US black metal scene. I think it's fair to say that the USA isn't quite as prolific for its black metal bands or black metal scene as the UK, Scandinavia, Europe. I think that they have produced some fantastic bands, absolutely no doubt, and I do not mean any disrespect when I say that, but I think that they are, they're catching up, but in terms of their black metal scene, they've got a really, really active underground scene now, and we're starting to see a lot of really notable acts creeping up that are really just paying homage and really just pumping out some serious tribute black metal here to the to the heritage second wave black metal scene that spawned from um, Norway most notably but Scandinavia and Europe as well. So that said this is one of the most notable acts in my opinion from the current US uh, black metal underground scene. Geist of Oashita is absolutely brilliant. I've been listening to this tape, so I'll just give you a little bit of uh, an overview of the material here. This is, as I say, the insert of their, or well, his, Soul Studio album, Imprisoned in the Graven Wood, which is released through Signal Rex Records, which is based in Portugal. Um, I've talked about Signal Rex countless times here on the channel. Awesome web store, awesome distro, great label representing a whole lot of underground bands right across the globe, not just Portugal, not just USA, but across the globe they're really representing and generating a healthy uh, underground black metal community. Great stuff, do check them out. I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, description so you can check out their store, check out their site, they've got amazing stuff there. So that's the debut album, and then in this really awesome form, so this is the insert of the split with a, another US band. Um, this is Eternal Tomb. Uh, and this particular release, I believe it's entitled Black Feudal Savagery. And it looks like this is numbered. I haven't noticed that before. This is 93 of 100. I haven't actually noticed that before interesting but this is a tape as well that comes in a in a bag randomly um nice clear shell so we've got on one side we've got eternal tomb and 
then we've got Geist of Oashita, or Oshita on the other side. Um, they both contribute three songs each to this debut kind of split album because they're, they're about 15 16 minutes aside so it's a little bit longer than an ep it's over half an hour for the entire release but it's good stuff it's really good stuff and what i will say about this um and actually i'll just give a bit of context to our sole member here which is obviously pictured there in the snow looking very authentically black metal this one man band is from now, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, Roanoke, or Roanoke, I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to say Roanoke. There. Who does everything. So we're talking uh, guitars, drums, vocals, the lot, um, produced by Signal Rex. But it's an awesome freaking release, I have to say. So we'll start off with the beginning then. We'll start off with that debut release, the, uh, the split EP. We've got three tracks entitled Advent of New Wallachia, we've got Raped of Mortal Life, and we've got Visions of Vitriolic Hate. Now, all three songs, really surprisingly memorable stuff. We've got that really kind of stripped back basic production, so it is very, very kind of canny. It's very, it's very raw. It's very true to the traditional kind of production traits of black metal traditional black metal but it does work it's oddly memorable the riffs are incredibly catchy really really brilliant stuff there um, vocals are harsh and haunting um, but they generate a fantastic kind of atmosphere and a soundscape to it absolutely brilliant um, bass work is notable as well it all has a prominence so there's not just thin kind of teeny um, riffs over a just constant blast beat and then just a horrific scream it's it's kind of feral vocals over these big big lightning riffs of course it's very very fast stuff then we've got those battering drums and then we've got the rumbling bass as well but the whole thing comes together to create such beautiful melancholic very melodic music Particular highlights for me uh, would be the first track, Advent of New Wallachia, or Wallachia. Not quite sure on the pronunciation of that. And actually, just look at that cover. I think that's great. That is a great cover. Awesome artwork. Really cool stuff. Brilliant track with some really catchy riffs, really deep atmospherics. It's the sort of stuff where you could be listening to that, close your eyes, and you're transported to the fjords or to the forests in the Scandinavian forests in the depths of the snowstorm winters but really good material fast forward then to um, the imprisoned in the graven wood album I keep wanting to say um, enslaved it's not imprisoned in the graven wood the enslaved part comes from this uh, sort of design on the inside which has lyrics which say enslaved to the last ichor, uh, the graven would be mine. That's why that keeps coming to mind. Um, this was recorded in winter of 2021. So it's been recorded for a little while. It came out in 2023. So a little bit of delay there. We've got six tracks totaling just over half an hour. All brilliant. There is not a bad track on here. Um, the whole thing flows so absolutely seamlessly and it creates this brilliant, I want to say it's like a it's like a soundscape it's like a soundtrack almost you really lose yourself in it uh, the opening track vampiric exhumation is a bit of an aggressive I'm gonna say more akin to sort of early dark throne it's got that kind of vibe to it but then second track awakening of ancient blood has a real resonance of um, earlier sort of immortal to it as well so there's a big ode a big nod to the classic second wave of black metal bands buster vicor another great one from a tree i hang in chains is a particularly brilliant one we've got some amazing melodic riffs there really melancholic stuff it's great for atmospheres 
a vengeful spirit imbued by hatred, a little bit more up-tempo before a very deep and very dark closing track in the form of Imprisoned in the Graven Wood, a title track there. But start to finish, this is an absolute musical journey. If you love deep, emotive, atmospheric black metal, uh, the likes of Immortal, for example, I'm trying to think of like a quite prominent, um, a renowned name. Immortal, if you like Immortal, if you like Dark Throne, early Dark Throne, then you're, you're definitely going to enjoy Imprisoned in the Graven Wood. This band, definitely one to pay attention to because they are no doubt going places. Definitely, 100%. And as a little bit of a bonus, of course, this is a split, so you have got another band. You have Internal Tomb, which creates some really good music. Uh, I think that's, this is their sole release. Another three tracks. Uh, March Upon the Tower, Knights of Mist and Eternal Rest, and Triumph at the Gates. All three tracks, really good, solid material. Um, it's very raw, old school black metal. Again, it's sort of tribute to that second wave black metal stuff. The only thing that really does let Eternal Tomb Down is the vocals completely overshadow the music. It's way too screechy and it's just the whole mix is just wrong. I think other than that, other than the vocals, the rest of it is great. Parallel, you've got Geist of Oshita that really, really do stand out for the fact that actually their the vocals are are good. It's good solid black metal vocal performance. However, it's the music that really does convey that message and generate that atmosphere. Absolutely fantastic stuff. So if you want to check out Ghost Geist of Ashita, definitely check out Advent of New Volatia or Volatia from this split EP. That's the real standout on that one for me. And from Imprisoned in the Graven Wood, which sounds all the sweeter these releases do on tape. Definitely. It's definitely the way to listen to raw cult black metal um definitely check out vampiric exhumation awaken of ancient blood and from a tree or hanging chains absolutely brilliant but just give it the time you can check it out i, I don't know if it's on spotify I'd, I'd be surprised but not all that surprised check it out on youtube i know that you can find it on there it's absolutely worth your time if you like early immortal if you like early dark throne if you like 1349, if you like oh, if you like black metal, true black metal, raw black metal, think mayhem, think that good sort of stuff, then you're definitely going to be able to enjoy this band because they are freaking awesome. Roanoke can make the goods. So check it out. A band you need to hear, Geist of Oshita. What are your thoughts and opinions on this particular band? Check them out if you've never heard them before and then do let me know what you think. But thank you very much for watching my friends. Do feel free to like and subscribe as always. It's very much appreciated. Check back soon for more reviews and recommendations. But above all my friends, take care and stay heavy.